Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue on with my lip product declutter. This is hard for me. If you don't already know, I love lipsticks and lip products. Anything that goes on my lips with my whole heart. I have way too many of everything. I've already done two videos, a lip gloss declutter as well as a liquid lipstick declutter that I will link for you above if you're interested. But today I thought we would do more pencil type or chubby type of lip products. This is gonna be hard because this is one of the things that I love a lot. <laughs> All right, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and let's get started. The one thing I'm just gonna say, they're not going anywhere. They're these. These are the Clinique and Crayola. It's a collab they did. It's their chubby lip crayon box. And they have eight shades in here. And they're so pretty. I don't use them like I should, but the colors that you see here, and they have the names right here, these are all of them. I love the Clinique Chubby Lipstick Formula. You have both the regular and the Chubby Intense in here. So I am gonna hang on to this just for the nostalgia. I shouldn't hang on to anything for nostalgia, but I love that it looks like a crayon box and the box of 64 as a kid was where my heart was at. I loved it. And I feel like now makeup is my grown up crayon box. So these may go bad and I may still keep them in here just because it makes me happy. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pick out all the rest of my Clinique chubbies and we're gonna take a good hard look at these. As I go through and I'm looking through this box, this is when I realize that I've already decluttered a lot of these. I still have too many. Okay, so I have four Clinique chubbies left. One of them is Mightiest Maraschino. Oh no, it smells like a crayon. That's a sign that it's gone bad. So has Curvious Caramel. Those are my two most used favorite shades. This one here is Voluptuous Violet. Also smells just like a crayon. And this is the Heftiest Hibiscus. Okay, these are all bad. And you know what's bad about this is that this never really lost the point that it came with. The rest of these have been like worn down to nubs because I use these a lot. I, I love these products. Now, they're not long wearing. They're kind of like a glossy stick. They're very hydrating, but the ones, especially the intense ones, and all of these here were the intense version right here. They give a really beautiful, full, opaque cover to the lips, but very comfortable, very shiny, very lovely. I'm so sad. The ones that are just the regular chubbies are a lot more sheer, and if you like a sheer wash of color, this one was really pretty. Just like, like gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And now that I know mine are all bad, I want to run out and buy more, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to use what's in here because these guys are all still good. But these guys sadly have to go. I have four of the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. I feel like these are a really great drugstore option for your chubby stick from Clinique because everything is the same except for the cap. The cap on the Neutrogena ones are clear. These guys are silver, but I'll tell you, having used both of them, these have a more fruity, almost a candy-like smell where you don't get that from the Clinique, but these are fairly intense in color. I would say they're halfway between the original Clinique kind of more sheer balm and the chubby intense because these guys give you some actual coverage and color, but they're very comfortable. Remember Emily Noel likening these to the sweatpants of lipstick, like the comfortable what you want to be in all the time, but these look fantastic. I leave the house in these, like my sweatpants, I don't leave the house in those. <laughs> but these are absolutely amazing. And if you like this um, kind of formula of a chubby, comfortable, glossy, this is great, crayon application, I feel like the Moisture Smooth, now, I only use these three. I don't use this one. This one I think is fresh papaya, but I do use rich raisin, classic red, and almond nude. I mean, I don't even have to look at the names. I know which ones they are. I love these shades. I use these shades. This one, I'm gonna not keep in my collection. So I have two of the ColourPop Just a Tint. I have the shade Give Me S'more and Cherry Pickin'. I wish I'd gotten one that was a little bit 
warmer, a little more red in tone. I thought cherry picking was gonna lean that way. Cherry picking is definitely much more of a brown. The formula is okay. I feel like I've used this one the most here. Like, it's a nub. Uh, this one here and Give Me S'more, it's more of like a pinky nude. This is cherry picking. If you like nudes, you'll like this. This is the Coconuts About You bundle. Um, I think the packaging is nice because the lids as well as they're all the same shade. So you'll know if you take the lids off, you know which one goes with which. But I wish that the names weren't on the lids but were actually on here. That's just me being picky. Both of these are nice. I'm probably not going to keep cherry picking because it's... I'm going to keep it for now. I'm gonna, it's fairly new in my collection. I just changed my mind. I should get rid of it. My impulse was don't... Okay, I'm not keeping it. It's going away. I have these chubby crayons. These are actually called lip crayons. They're the Burt's Bees lip crayons. I love the formula of these. I think these are nice. I think these are also really nice for hydration and color. Um, they're not that sheer. They're a little bit more opaque than I expected them to be. Um, and I feel like out of all of the Burt's Bees lip products that I try to have a whole Burt's Bees video, I will link it for you above. I feel like these are the most opaque. Now, I obviously have not reached for this shade here. This is called California Coast. It's much more of a dusky pinky nude. I haven't reached for it. I'm also not gonna wear this one. This one's in Hawaiian Smolder. It's a little too pink for my taste. It's very, very, very pretty. Now, out of the rest of these, I'm trying to figure out which ones I'm actually going to wear. I can't keep them all. I have six of the Burt's Bees lip crayons and I don't need all six. The formula is great. I have a whole Burt's Bees video that I will link for you above. I really think that these are really, really great and if you can find them on sale, they're worth it. Um, I would still pay full price for maybe one of these. Uh, my husband came home with all of these. He found them on sale somewhere and he was just like, all the colors. <laughs> there might be a few more than these, but these are the six that I have. And I realized these are the three shades I don't really reach for. This one here is called Napa Vineyard. It's a really deep, dark red. And I love red lipsticks, but I don't like the tone of that red on my lips. I also am not gonna use a uh, Hawaiian Smolder. It's a little too pink leaning. And this one here, this one is in California Coast. It's a little too cool, dusky pink. It's got a milky white base. It's definitely not something I prefer on myself. So I'm gonna let those three go. I'm gonna keep, these other three, I just dropped a cap. If I don't get it now, I'm gonna get lipstick everywhere. Hang on. So the three I'm keeping are Sedona Sands, Redwood Forest and Niagara Overlook. These are the three that I know I would actually use. And these look great with a full face of makeup and with no makeup on. If you're like just going to the post office or you're gonna go get milk and bread in the morning, you just like, I gotta go. Uh, sunglasses and a pair and one of these on, fantastic. One of my all time favorite lip pencils was these guys. They are from Lipstick Queen. They don't make these anymore. And these are the Cupid's Bow. These were brilliant. Okay, this is where I'm going to probably, I'm very upset by this. First of all, Lipstick Queen no longer makes this product. I don't even know what Lipstick Queen is doing because when the owner and the founder, Poppy King, had it, uh, she had started out with a basic high pigment lipstick and a sheer lipstick. One was called the Sinner, which was the high pigment one, and one was called Saint, which was the sheer one, and she had similar exact duplicate colors. Do you want an opaque finish? Do you want a sheer finish? And then she started expanding the range. And when she came into these pencils, I fell over, like head over heels hard for these. I really love these. Now, I have every shade they make. <laughs> That's how much I love them. I have a lot a lot of Lipstick Queen products, and I am so sad to know that I'm sure a lot of them are not gonna be good anymore, because I've had them for a while. So everything's getting sniff tested, and whatever of these passes the sniff test, I'm gonna keep. I think there might have been seven of these. I think I might have used one up. I really like these. They all pass the sniff test. I'm keeping all of them. I love these. I think my favorite two, you can tell, are the shortest ones are these guys right here, the nude shades. Oh, they're beautiful. I won't even tell you what they are because you can't even get them anymore, and for shame, they should be out on the market because they're so good. All right, 
these are great. If you were curious about the Lipstick Queen pencils, they're very reminiscent of the NARS lip pencils. Now, I only have two of the three formulas. I think they have a gloss pencil, but I have some velvet mattes and I have some satin pencils. The satin pencil is my absolute favorite and all of these are good. These are all five of the pencils that I have from NARS. And this is where I go. I don't actually use every single one of these. I think I'm only going to keep the satin pencils. I'm not gonna keep the mattes. Oh, that's so hard. These are, they're beautiful products. They're really beautiful. I just realized that out of all of these, I was looking at it, oh yeah, I use this one and I use this one, but I don't use the other ones. Um, and I'm getting rid of Cruella, which just is wrong, but I am because I never wear it. I have four pencils from Glow Minerals. Um, I think the packaging has changed for these. These are really fun because in the caps, they have a pencil sharpener that you can just sharpen. And then even in here, they have a little stopper for it, which you can use to pick out whatever is stuck to the inside. I haven't used these caps, I think, because I just use a regular pencil sharpener. But these are really nice matte pencils. These are their suede matte crayons and um, I haven't used them in a long time, so I'm gonna say goodbye to all of these, but these are really great products. <laughs> and it just comes down to, I have too many, and I'm not gonna hang on to these. I have two products here from L'Oreal. I don't know, do they still make these? I have a La Matte and a La Lac. <laughs> so one is glossy and one is matte, both of which are expired and are going to go. This, I don't know if we should call this a lipstick. I think maybe a lipstick. I, I, we're just gonna do it now because it's here anyway. But this is from Revlon. This is their Ultra HD lipstick. This is in the shade Vineyard. This is a really pretty shade. Truth is, I don't reach for it that often. So I think I'm going to let it go. It's hydrating, it's gorgeous, it's really, really, really nice. I have four of the Marc Jacobs liquid lip crayons. These are, I really like the idea of this formula a lot, a lot, but, oh, this one's bad. Oh, this one was pretty too. They go on like a crayon, like a pencil, and they're very creamy. I don't know if you can see, like it, it's still very, very creamy. They're beautiful. I wonder if this one's still good. Oh yeah, this one's still good. This one was my favorite. This one's Frambois. Uh, I keep you over here. And this one here is in the shade Plum and Get It. This one's still good too, but I don't like Plum and Get It. And I did get a mini of Plum and Get It, uh, and it's still absolutely brand new, untouched, um, from last year, Sephora Give Me More Lip Kit. So if I didn't go through a full size and then didn't bust into the mini, um, I'm gonna let somebody else use these guys. And I'm so sad, this one, this one was the one I used the most. This was called Night Moths right here. This one's bad. It smells like a crayon. Well. The last thing I have in here is from Revlon. This is their Color Burst Lacquer Balm. Well, this still smells good. I don't think I'm gonna use it though. It's been there for a while. I'm gonna let it go. Wow, I'm surprised how many of these I got rid of. So I just did a count. I'm keeping 24 pencils, the guys in here, and I'm getting rid of 24 pencils. By the way, I happened to not finish this video before I had to run and get my kids. And then we had errands to run and now it's four hours later. So lipstick's a little different, probably a little bit more worn in on the face, but let me just wrap this up for you really quick. I just recounted, I'm keeping 24 of these chubby pencils and I'm getting rid of the exact same number. I didn't know that I had 48 pencils, almost 50, that's a lot, that's too many. And it's nice to be able to get rid of some. I think this is a type of product that I'm probably not gonna go and buy lots and lots of, um, even though there are so many things here that make me sad that are bad, like these guys right here. These are probably the two that are making me the most, these are my Chubby Intense from Clinique, I love these. Once I'm done with all of my chubby pencils or crayons and I feel like I need something new, I'd probably go back to one of those. I definitely recommend them. I think they're fantastic. But let me know um, 
what it is in your collection that is maybe a little out of control. And, and I realized that it may not be makeup for you. It might be something else. For a long time, I had too many serving dishes. <laughs> for a long time, I had too many shoes. And I've kind of pared things down, but I go through seasons in my life. And sometimes it's like kitchen gear and sometimes it's clothes and accessories and sometimes it's makeup. <laughs> and I'm in a makeup season right now, but I'm trying to pare it down and really only keep what's really truly gonna work for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this is, if not um, entertaining, at least a cautionary tale, not to buy more than you can use, because if you end up getting rid of as much as I am, it's just kind of like, oh, painful. It hurts. It hurts both my heart and my wallet. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.